get the chair. Okay, let me see if I can focus this thing. What? What is he even talking about today? He's gonna talk about his life in the theater. Oh. Uh, Got it? Uh, yeah, I think it's on focus. Okay. I, said, I ordered grilled cheese. Don. You bring me a fruit Don, salad. we're in here. That's not bring quite him in the here. same, is it, my good woman? Hello, ladies. Hi, Marty. Oh, Marty, my God, we're gonna you do this. It's gonna have today. to be now because I have to help serve lunch in half an hour, right? My good woman. The last person who took that tone with me was Clark Gable. And unless you're starring in Gone with the Wind and I haven't been notified, I'd advise you to at least feign some shred of respect. I need you to sit in the chair. And I need you to dye those roots, woman! You look like Betty Davis in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. All you need is a wheelchair and enough dignity to form complete sentences. Morty. Listen, I'll tell you what I told Morgan Freeman. You touch me again and you'll lose a finger. And now that man has three bionic fingers. <laughs> John, no, you're going to need to stop me. him. I will be in my trailer. Turn it off. Going? Going? I don't do anything without hair and makeup. The last time I went without was in 65. And I'll never forget that day, as it was the day I was mistaken for Tippy Hedren. I just need you to sit in the chair. A rather insistent me. woman tried to sell me a handbag and get my autograph at the same time. I found her extremely difficult to ignore. Did you buy the handbag? Oh, now we're interested. Yes, of course I bought the handbag. The beadwork was beautiful, and the price was right. I figured, what the H-E okay, double right. cinnamon sticks, huh? Here we go. And I gave that purse to my wife on our fifth anniversary. It was later stolen by a young woman in Vancouver, British Columbia. Do you know who that woman happened to be? I don't. Sandy Duncan, who later sold the handbag to buy contraceptives. That's not true. The only people who lie about run-ins with Sandy Duncan are homeless people. And do I look like a homeless person to you, Cindy? I'm Jennifer. Well, the two of you look very similar. Cindy's black. Well, you, then you can understand the confusion. Listen, I ordered a Diet Coke about an hour and a half ago. I don't know where that order went off to, but could you be a dear? I'm just going to make sure you're in focus, Oh, okay? all right, all right. Okay. Where's the frame, dear? Is it, it here? Here? It's just below your nipple line, Morty. Oh. I'll thank you not to reference my nipples again, young lady, unless it's been approved by my lawyers. Now, about that Diet Coke. We're fresh out. Liar! I saw Herman Tangleberry with a Diet Coke coiled in his palsied grip not half an hour ago. I saw it with my own eyes. Sit still for just a minute. This is an outrage. I may wet myself right here just to spite you, woman. Don't you dare. See if I won't. I had a Virgin Mary for breakfast that's just dying to make its debut. Morty. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Wet Times at Corduroy High. I swear by all that is holy. I need a straw. You do not. Twist of lime? No. Champagne flute? Morty! Let's just try to get through this, okay? Listen, Judy, I'm a professional, all right? I don't try to get through this. I'm not Anne Frank, you know? I'm not the audience at the test screening for Bridge to Terabithia. I'm a professional. We simply do. Now, what exactly am I doing? We're filming a promotional video for your lecture tour. Listen, I'd love to chat, but does my agent know about this? Because if we're going to go under the radar on this one, I'm going to need to see some cash up front. Or perhaps we could work out some kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead what? I haven't seen a script. Am I just supposed to wing it? Here's the thing. No, I have the thing. The thing is, you've been looking me in the eyes this whole time. My contract specifically states that a deferential aversion of said eyes is preferred, all right? You have five minutes. Do you understand? Then I'm leaving. Fine. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Sir Mortimer Pauline Huddlesworth III. Tonight's film is entitled Passion Fish. It's the invigorating story of... No! No! What? Morty! What? Are we gonna slate this one? Is there a slate on this one? What's happening? We're rolling. I don't know what that means. Dignity. Tell it to the cavity search, lady. Can we please just get this done? Is this light all right for me? I feel like the light is brighter on the other side the of the light room is there. fine. Oh, well, thank you for your ruthless attention to detail, Mr. Hitchcock. 
Hello. Line. Just say who you are. Hello. Just say who you are. I don't know why you should do this, because I don't really care very much. Between keeping my lunch down and trying to figure out where to urinate next, I have quite the to-do list. Go ahead. Don't rush the process, woman. Let me get into character. Hello. My name is Sir Mortimer Pauline Huddlesworth III, and I've spent my life devoted to the theater. You could say I've been the theater's slave. So devoted to her have I been. Or you could simply call me a damn dirty theater hooker and be done with it. No, but I wouldn't say it right to my face, as I know 13 ways to kill a man with a deflated balloon and the director's cut of Romancing the Stone. <laughs> We're rolling. Alright. Go ahead whenever you're ready. When an anima is all that stands between you and a truly amazing day, trust flush away. Flushaway is the only product of its kind to incorporate bits of potent catnip into its formula, making it nature's choice. No shovel with dinner! <laughs> Are we going to have the product here, or should I, I don't know, gesture off screen or something? It is cold as the grave in here. And I should know. I'll never forget the time Jessica Tandy buried me alive at a party off the Sunset Strip. This was during the golden age of Hollywood, when things like that happened all the time. In fact, it wouldn't have been considered a party if someone hadn't been buried alive, or told Lon Chaney to take his dick out of the crudités. That seemed to happen quite a bit, as I recall. I don't know why we all kept serving crudités. And the next thing I knew, I was covered in pudding and squatting over that tiny woman from Poltergeist, and she was screaming something about not being able to reach the hairdryer. And I said, my dear woman, if you hadn't lost the juju bees in the first place, we'd be safe in the limo right now. And I never did get to see the end of the Goonies. Do they all make it out all right? These and other tales of the theater are what I do best. So I hope you'll consider me as a guest lecturer at your next function. Hell, to get out of this place, I'd even do a children's party. Although I usually side with W.C. Fields when it comes to children and animals, I won't work with either one of them. In fact, I think children should be made to live on islands in the Pacific until they're old enough to handle carnival equipment, and then they should be sent out on the road doing odd jobs at state fairs and such. Or perhaps we could find some way to harness their energy and use it to build a giant... Just please do what we said. What, about taking a shower every day? You know, Bernadette Peters went four and a half years without so much as an Evian spritz, and no one said Jack diddly umptious to her. I'll thank you to give me the same respect. Yep. My God, I am burning up in this place. What the dilly, yo? Listen. A life in the theater can be glamorous. It can also be Derek Jacobi beating you about the face and arms with a rolled up phone book because you agreed with him that he did indeed look a bit jowly in his Hamlet costume. Hello, I'm Sir Mortimer Pauline Huddlesworth III. Currently, I'm taking a break from my life in the theater to waste away in a nursing home. Thanks, family! I wasn't actually present on that video, but if I had been, I can tell you right now, it wouldn't have lasted three and a half weeks. I mean, there's diva, and then there's just plain punishable by law. Can I get an amen? What kind of a film are we making here? I'm not going to make it through this. It's like no, an instructional video for handicapped citizens who want to visit the DMV or something. I'd rather watch a bird choke on a skittle. And you know how fond I am of skittles. Oh, we're filming your promotional video. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut it down. No, seriously. I, you're like that silly robot in that movie. You know, the gay robot can understand you, but I'm sitting in the audience and I'm not getting a word. It's all beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. I don't get it, woman. Speak with intention. Project.